Hi everyone, this is Tammy at Snowstorm Crafts, and today I want to show you guys three easy newspaper surface transfer techniques. And we'll do some collaging along the way, so I'll show you different collaging techniques. And yeah, if you could, please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, and you guys can see my next video when I post it. Like, comment, and share, and let's grow together. Okay, let's get to it here. So what I'm going to do is we're gonna start off with a little collage and I'm gonna show you guys how to do some uh, newspaper, uh, just surface transfer techniques on it and stuff. So I'm starting off with just a stovetop box. I love to keep these kind of boxes like cereal boxes, uh, rice boxes, things like that. These are great for uh, collaging on and um, great for your junk journals or I, I just keep them I, I have too many of them so we gotta use them up okay so what I want to do is you know I'm not even gonna cut it because like this stuff can be great for a belly band and all that I'm just gonna keep it the way it is okay so what we're gonna start off with is I'm gonna start gluing just some scraps I got uh, some fun circle punches I did on craft paper, some avocado dyed paper, some uh, stenciling paper with my writ dye, uh, some older pages here. I think this is like from the 80s, just like a little book. Um, just things like that, some interest pages. Uh, yeah, so let's just start with that. Oh, and also some uh, just pattern papers are great too. Just the little pattern McCall's and all those little things. Okay. And let's go ahead and use our glue stick. And I got the Scotch Create Glue. Okay. And what I'm going to do is just start ripping. And of course, some book pages. You do some book pages. We all got those hanging around. So. really worry too much about it. I'm just going to take it and glue. Just getting some stuff glued down. So I hope you guys are having a crafty day today and looking through your newspapers and because I go down and go get the weekly uh, just free paper at the when I go to the post office and take my packages and stuff for my Etsy. Uh, I just go ahead and grab a uh, the free paper that they have there, it's the weekly paper we get here in Oregon. And it's fun just to look through it and find some uh, just fun different little words and uh, things like that. And I'll show you that in just a second. But right now I'm just gonna go ahead and get these, just making a little fun collage here. And I'm going to glue some more stuff down, and I'll just do it in a time lapse. All right, so I went ahead and did some collaging on here. And I'm going to move this to the side for a second. And this is what I get here. It's just the weekly paper. And as you look through it, you can see, like, this would be great, like letters. Like the word letters, like you could just take it and, and you don't even have to cut it. Just do some ripping out. Like I would definitely use something like this. So the word letters is great. And uh, even content would work. Just look around and just see different things you can find here. Art. That's a great one. News. I mean, stuff like that. I'll go for this word. And just So just go through whatever paper, if you get the morning paper, or just go down and go get the free weekly, if you guys have that in your town. So art. That's a good one. And even numbers, like going through and finding some numbers, like uh, the bottom of the page number here is a great one. 
just looking through and just finding different numbers throughout. Like, I mean, there's numbers all right here that you could just uh, get those. And like this number right here, those are, that's a great number. Like, this one might need to be cut out. So just like go through, I mean, there's all kinds of stuff you can find in the newspaper. Okay. So just cut that out. And then you got yourself that, which is a fun, just having some numbers, you know. So that's a great thing to do. Pickleball, huh? I have never played pickleball. <laughs> I'd love to hear if you guys have ever played pickleball. I bet you it'd be fun. Okay, uh, let's see. So you could do the days of the week here, like, you know, Saturday, Friday, Sunday. You can get all those. Uh, some more numbers right here. Some big numbers. I like her. She's really cool. I think I cut her out. I did because she was in the other one. So I got her cut out, which I thought was cool. And some of these numbers are really neat, too. So I think I want to cut these numbers out because those are nice and big. Let's see, I'm gonna do that. I have numbers. I would even cut her out again because she's. I mean, that's she's cool. I think she's really cool. So just go through, see what you can find. Okay, and let me cut this out, and then I will get to what we're doing here okay so just go through the paper see what you can find cut some things out rip some things out do all kinds of things with it just it's a first transfer newspaper transfer i want to show you guys it's just take packaging tape packaging tape and i'm just going to rip some off here okay Try to get it off my finger. Okay, if I don't fold this back on itself and stick it, it always comes undone. And then I'm driving myself nuts trying to get it. Okay, so now let's go ahead and I think a darker one always works out pretty good. Um, is that gonna fit? Let's do the word letters. I got a black and black letters one too. And then I cut out the red. But let's go ahead and do the black here. All right, seriously. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and rip it. Just like that. Lay it down. And just tape right on top of it. Just like that. Okay. And just make sure it's on there. I mean, you don't have to get nuts, but... My bone folder. I'm just making sure that it's on there. Okay, so we stuck it on here. We got it all stuck like that. And then you want to turn it this way. Get some water. Go ahead and get your fingers wet and just dab it on here. I let it sit for a second. Just because it makes it easier to rub it off. And then you're gonna you can rub it with your fingers or you can get a toothbrush or anything, but it's pretty easy once you get it wet and let it sit for a second. And then you just go ahead and rub the newspaper off like that. And it should roll right off of there. And there you go. You got it onto the packaging tape, just like that. Make sure you guys can see that. There we go. So that's number one, is transferring it onto packaging tape. Just any image. And I noticed the darker, the better. So like, make sure it's like a black and it, it, it'll it come through better. Cause I did one the other day and it was red and it just didn't show up that good. So yeah, just make sure it's a little darker. All right, so what I like to do, cause it is pretty shiny. So let's cut off some of it here. Let's cut off as close as we can here. Let's get that cut. All right. There we go. Then 
we'll take our collage and stick it down. Just like that. And it's sticky. So there you go. So that's one transfer for newspaper. And then the second one is just white acrylic paint or even gesso. I'm sure gesso works too. I think the gesso works too, but we, let's try both. But I know the white does, the acrylic paint. So let's try both. Okay, so you just take some on a paintbrush and see where we want it. Let's put a good amount of white. This is the white acrylic. Okay. And what I did is I cut out some um, horoscopes. Okay. Just I thought that would be fun. So just take some wording and lay it right on the acrylic paint here. And I'm just going to make sure I'm going to rub it on there. Get it rubbed on there. Let it sit for just a second here. Okay. And then you just take it. I don't know why. Well, some of the words came off there. I'm not sure why the other words didn't come off. But those came off, if you can see that. So we'll try it again. You can see the words here, just the print. And uh, let's try it again. I'm not sure. Maybe I had too much paint. Let's try it again. Let's see. Okay, let's do some here then. And we'll try a little less paint. Okay. I don't know why this keeps rolling. Jeez. All right, so let's try that. And maybe just kind of rub it on there like this and then peel it. Oh, there it goes. So you just, yeah, you could just get the words. So you get some print on there. So let's do some words. Let's try my heat gun. Let me heat gun it real quick and see if that helps. Okay, so I thought I was recording this part, but apparently I was time-lapsed. It didn't work out. So I did the heat gun and the newspaper stayed on it right there, but you got the wording and it kind of gives you a cool texture right there. So you got, and you could just peel some off. And uh, So I don't know, I kind of like that with the heat gun just kind of give you some newspaper texture on top and maybe take some watercolors on top of that and just kind of texturize it. Then I did the gesso. I did the gesso here and that didn't work out as good. So I'm thinking no on the gesso, but, um, and then I did it up here just with the acrylic paint again on a piece of paper that's glued down and you can see the text. So, I mean, it's coming off right here and this was the acrylic and then that was the acrylic paint. So, it's, you know, it's not perfect, but it's kind of neat how it isn't perfect. And it just gives a little character in the back. So there you go. So that's number two. And then oh, let's go ahead and do number three. Which do we want to use? We have so many choices. So what we're going to do is just rip. I'm just going to rip around this one. And I'm going to use the big bold classified. I think I'm going to do classified. Classified information. And then I'm going to take some blue acrylic. Okay. Well, it's mixed with a little white here, which doesn't matter. As long as it's acrylic paint here. And I think I got way too much. And what we're going to do, I'm just going to scrap piece of paper here. 
and paint on the words. So let's go ahead and paint. I think I might have got overzealous there. Got a little too much paint happening, but this is fun to do this together and see what we come up with, okay? We're all creating here together. So now, after you painted it, you're gonna stick it where you want it. And I'm just gonna stick it right here. Okay. So you stick it down and then take your heat gun or glue gun or, or not glue gun, you take your heat gun or your blow dryer and we're gonna dry it. I'm gonna get it dried real quick. Okay, so I got it all dried right here. And let's take some water. So do some drops of water on it. Okay. And the cool thing is, is it's gonna be backwards. So it's classified. All right, just make sure you get enough on there. And then just gently rub it off. Because you rub too hard, I did that on my other one I did and it, I kind of rubbed the words off. So just kind of, just getting it off like that. Go back and forth. And there you go. And you got yourself a little classified. So that one turned out really cool. So those are fun to do that. So those are the three easy newspaper surface transfer techniques. And let's see, so we did the masking tape, which I think turned out pretty cool. Then we did the acrylic paint that we stuck the wording on. And I think that turned out pretty cool. And then we did the paint, the acrylic paint and flipped it, put a water on it and then rubbed it off. So that was the third one. So now what I wanna do with you guys is just kind of play around real quick and just collage it and See what we came up with here. And this is just some handmade paper I made with some uh, some tie-dye, I do tie-dye banner flags in my Etsy shop. And I keep all the cuttings because I cut the flags and make sure, cause they're all raw edged. And uh, they're just a banner flag that you can put outside and they flap in the wind. Uh, but they do fade, just to let you guys know, they do fade after a while in the sun and the rain and stuff. So they're better indoors. But this is the ends that I just sit and cut off to make them look nice when you get them. And uh, I did, don't know what to do with them. So I, when I made handmade paper, I put some throughout. Just like that. So it's kind of fun. Okay, so now what I want to do is just go ahead and just start adding some stuff and doing some maybe some gesso throughout. and Because now we can just play around like this just to see what we come up with. And what I'm gonna do, cause this is a little shiny, is take some gesso like that and just rub it on there. And I think that'll help take this, some of the shine out of it. I mean, maybe, let's see. And I also have um, this mixture which I can post the link down below to let you guys know what's exactly in it, but it helps take the shine uh, out of magazine pages. Here, let me shake it. It takes the shine out of magazine pages, uh, book, like shiny garden book pages or book pages like that, or calendars that are shiny. Um, I'll put the video down below and it has the ingredients and everything in it. And you guys can see, but this might work. See if it takes out the shine on uh, packaging tape. It might. 
So, like I said, I like experimenting with you guys <laughs> and see what we come up with. So, let me rub some of it on here. Okay, let that dry for a second. And then this is a piece of magazine. This is like a jewelry book or making uh, like metal jewelry stuff. So it's a pretty cool book, but this will take the shine out of that for sure. Give that a second okay and it's a glue solution too so <clears throat> it's nice to stick everything down but it is uh like elmer's glue so be careful it, it does warp the paper but this is just a great way to kind of come through and just kind of decoupage everything on or just glue everything on here so yeah so I'm going to go ahead and do a time lapse and I'll just keep playing around and see what we come up with. Okay, so this is what I came up with here. And I think it turned out pretty fun. Let's see. And I'll get a good picture of it at the end so you guys can see everything on it. So yeah, and I wanted to tell you guys, uh, this, my mixture has the PVA glue in it or school glue or, you know, just the white glue, Elmer's. And when you take just the Elmer's glue and go across the top of the uh, the lettering, from when we did the, uh, the acrylic white and then put the text on top. If you take some of that, it actually brightens it up and you could see it better. So that brings out the blackness in the lettering. So that's a, that's, that's a little tip and trick. I was learning, I just saw that as I was doing it and I was like, oh, it did. It brought out more of that right there. So this is the one I blow dried and then it kept some of the paper on there. But then if you take some just white glue over the top, it kind of brushes the newspaper away too and brings out the black writing so there there's something right there okay and then what i did is some vintage photo that i put on the little butterfly de uh, die cut and i always say decal so die cut is what i mean and then black soot is what i use for stamping and i did it just a butterfly here and then some tim holtz just uh just script stamps right here with the birds and the flowers so i did some of that um, did some gesso all around, um, some cheesecloth that I avocado dyed, and I might have writ dyed. And when I say writ dyed, this is what I'm using. It's just uh, for clothing, but I use it for tie dyeing. I mean, I use it, I put it in the spray bottle and dilute it down and spritz. So I did some spritzing throughout, and it's just a writ liquid dye. And I added some fabric that I did a little ruffle here. And added some more paper, some stamping, and yeah. So I think that's pretty much it, but that's for collaging. You could just use anything that's around you that, or in watercolors. I went ahead and did some watercoloring throughout. And uh, just look around, see what you got, and just start slapping it down on some paper or some cardboard. And I'm using this up, and this is just gonna make great uh, book cover pages or even pages inside of your, your journals if you want and I can cut this and make this a belly band right here or so it's just a nice way to use up your cardboard or just your food boxes that you have that you're going to throw away anyway you know why not recycle them so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you liked it please hit the thumbs up for me it really helps my channel and comment down below I would love to hear the best technique that you guys liked and would like to incorporate into your collages and to your journals. And yeah, this is just the three easy newspaper transfers, uh, plus a little collaging added to and mixed media. So yeah, please uh, comment down below. I'd love, love to hear from you guys and keep on crafting guys.